Hi, my name is Jenny Navarez, and I'm one of the instructional designers uh, working for the Learning Technology and Alternative Delivery Department here at Valencia. Now, you may be enrolled in a class where your instructor is asking you to take a specific test using what they call Respondus Lockdown Browser. This is a specific application, just like Internet Explorer or Firefox or Chrome. It's a browser application that allows you to browse the Internet, but it's specifically made for you to take an exam using Blackboard 9.1. Now, before you can take the exam, you have to install that application on your home or office or whatever computer you're going to be using to take the assessment. Let me show you really quick where you can find that link to download the, um, the Respondus Lockdown Browser. I'm logged into a course where I'm a student, and I'm going to click on Test and Quizzes, and my instructor is actually providing me some instructions. Among them, the instructor is also giving me a link to download Lockdown Browser. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And I'm going to follow along the installation um, procedures that I see here. In this case, it's asking me whether I'm on a Windows machine or a Mac. And I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm going to click on Mac. And now it's asking me, what, where am I? Am I in a public area like a computer lab on campus or using my own computer? And in this case, I'm using my own computer. Um, I do want to alert you that all of the campus lab locations and all of the testing centers for Valencia already have this application installed. So really, you would be installing Respondus Lockdown Browser for your home computer, OK? All right, so at this point, it's asking me click on one of these uh, different servers to install it. I'm going to go ahead and click on Server 1. And it's letting me know it has to install something with Java, so I'm going to allow it. OK, so it may take a couple of seconds after you click Allow um, before you see this sort of grade box. And it's telling you click Install to proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, the Install button. And notice that automatically the system is telling me on my desktop, Lockdown Browser has been installed. There it is. There's my package. I'm going to go ahead and close the screen for right now. And just as the instructions say, once installed, after it finishes downloading, run the installer, and then we'll be able to locate the Lockdown Browser by going to our Applications folder on the Finder. So let's do that. I'm going to minimize my screen. And uh, there's the folder for Lockdown Browser install. I'm just going to double click on that particular file and let it go through the installation process. Okay, perfect. Let's use our finder, it's even quicker. There it is, Applications Lockdown Browser. OK, so this is the very first time that I'm running this new application. The first thing it's asking me is, where am I connecting? Am I going to connect to WebCT, or am I going to connect to Blackboard 9.1? And in this case, my instructor is using Blackboard 9.1 Learn. So I'm going to leave it exactly as it shows up and click Continue. Now, the next thing that the system is doing is it's trying to secure my Mac, at least for the amount of time that I'll be taking an exam. So it's telling me there's some applications here that are running that we need to quit. So I'm saying, go ahead and kill the applications. I just want to log into my class. There we go. We are now looking at a browser window that's only connecting to Blackboard Learn. Notice I, I can't really type in a new URL. I don't have the file menu. I can only log in to my class. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now using my Atlas username and my password. I'm going to log into the class, go to my test and quizzes, and click on Unit 1 Pretest the one that requires Lockdown Browser. I'm going to click on Begin. 
And now I can start taking this exam. Yes, I'll go ahead and allow it. And at this point, I can answer all of my questions. And I do want to warn you that this particular system, when you're using Responda's Lockdown Browser, you can't stop the exam early. You cannot um, close out this browser and leave and then come back and continue working. Because if I try to do that, notice I need to save my answers, so I'm only going to save two of the answers, okay? And if I try to close the window, notice I'm getting that message telling me you have to finish the test. So once you're taking a test in Respondus Lockdown Browser, you need to finish taking that test using Respondus Lockdown Browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and submit. It's telling me, do you wanna confirm this submission? By all means, there we go, I'm done. Now I can close this browser. So our recommendation is make sure that you download this application, Respondus Lockdown Browser, early, maybe the first couple of weeks of your class. Use it just for testing whenever your instructor is telling you that you have to use it. And then continue using your preferred browser or the recommended browser, which is Firefox, to continue taking uh, to continue working through your entire course for the remainder of the semester. With that said, please remember that if you run into any technical issues whatsoever, you can always contact the support help desk for online courses, and you can do that by calling 407-582-5600. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.